In a game dominated by power, speed and class, one player stands out among the rest. A player whose mere presence on the field commands attention, whose every move captivates the crowd, and whose skills and finesse leave fans in awe. Today I am of course talking about the Bont, Marcus Bontempelli. Marcus Bontempelli was born on the 24th of November 1995 in Melbourne, Victoria, and was introduced to the world of sports at a very young age. Growing up, he immersed himself in basketball and AFL, making the first team in both sports in his final year of school, and was the Marcellin College sport captain. After having a very successful period in basketball, playing in two winning school basketball premierships and becoming a national schoolboys basketball champion, he decided that AFL would be his key focus. The Bond played for the Northern Knights in the TAC Cup in 2013, and his versatility was on full display. Originally playing as a floating halfback, and as a forward, he was eventually moved into the midfield. He notably had a game where he had 50 disposals and 10 goals. This has to be a typo, right? It has to be. He was also selected for the TAC Cup team on the interchange bench and also played in the under-18s championship primarily as a halfback and on the wing. In the NAB AFL draft countdown, the Bont said that, I think my height is something that I use well in being able to be that tall midfielder and play that taller role. I think a massive strength of mine is being able to use the ball well by both hand and foot. The Bont's height is something that I do believe gives him a point of difference as at 6'4", he is the same height as key position forwards like Josh Kendi and Charlie Kurnow, but with much more versatility and skill as a midfielder. Entering the 2013 draft, there had been talks that Essendon were willing to trade pick 11 and forward Stuart Cramery. However, this did not eventuate. At pick 4, the bond was selected by the Western Bulldogs. In his first year as an AFL player in 2014, the Bond debuted in round 5 against Carlton with 14 disposals and 5 tackles, a promising start to an AFL career. In round 13, he earned a Rising Star nomination with 22 disposals and a goal, and was awarded the Chris Grant Best First Year Player in 2014. The AFL Player Association Best First Year Player Award, a place in the 22 under 22 team, and came second in the Rising Star overall, losing by one point to Brisbane's Lewis Taylor. In 2015, at the age of 19, the Bond played every game apart from two due to an adductor strain. In the first two rounds, he was back-to-back -back best on ground, and the best game up to this point in his career was a career-high 28 disposals, two goals, and two tackles. In the Bulldogs' seven-point loss to Adelaide in the elimination final, the Bond was once again the best on ground. He came third in the Bulldogs' best and fairest, and claimed his spot in the 22 under-22 team again, also signing a long-term contract, keeping him at the Bulldogs until 2019. In 2016, the Bond was elevated to the club leadership group and became the youngest player in history to captain an AFL VFL side to victory at 20 years and 194 days old, due to injury sustained to the captain and the standing captain. Finishing 7th overall, the Western Bulldogs were in the finals race, beating West Coast in the elimination finals, Hawthorne in the semis, and GWS in the prelims. The Bulldogs had an opportunity to break a 62-year-old AFL Premiership drought. The Bulldogs won the 2016 AFL Grand Final as their second ever in the club's history, with the Bond playing an important role, but nowhere near as important as others in the team, like the Norm Smith winner Jason Johansson. He won the Charles Sutton Medal, the John Schultz Community Award, led the Brownlow votes for the Bulldogs and finished 8th overall, made the 22 under 22 as captain, and made the All Australian team on the interchange bench. From 2017 to 2020, the Bond was selected for the 22 under 22 two more times, setting the record for an AFL player to be named in the 22 under 22 team for five consecutive years. He also claimed two more Charles Sutton medals, two more All Australians. He was named as vice captain in 2018. In 2019, he won the AFL Coaches Association Player of the Year award, being the first Bulldog to ever do it. He also represented Victoria in the State of Origin in the Bushfire Relief Match. His best game, in my opinion, up to this point was his 33 disposals, two goals, and 12 clearances. 2021 was an important year for the Bulldogs and Marcus Bontempelli, as the Bond reached 150 games for the Bulldogs, and the Bulldogs had reached another grand final. However, this grand final was different, as due to lockdowns of Victoria because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the 2021 grand final was played at Optus Stadium in Perth. It also became the first grand final played in the twilight time slot. After the game being drawn in the middle of the third quarter, the Melbourne Demons ran away with the win, with the final score being 140 to 66 and a margin of 74 points. The Bond had a strong game, leading by example with three goals and 25 disposals, as well as six tackles. As we pass the midway point of the 2023 season, it has become evident that Marcus Bontempelli is once again a strong contender for the prestigious Brownlow medal. There are five key reasons that highlight why he stands out as an exceptional player, in my opinion. The first being his versatility to play in multiple positions as a dynamic midfielder or dangerous goal scoring forward. The second reason is his high footy IQ, as he is able to make split second decisions while also contain the composure to find the best options to effectively move the ball or create scoring opportunities. The third is his natural skill to execute pinpoint kicks 
or breakthrough congested areas, his fourth being his elite athleticism through explosive speed, agility and ability to take contested marks, and the final key point being his leadership by leading by example and setting standards at the footy. It is clear that Marcus Bontempelli is a player who stands out as a star of the competition through his exceptional skill, versatility and leadership. His performances on the field are awe-inspiring and off the field he is a role model. Thank you for joining me on this journey as we possibly witnessed the greatest ever Bulldogs player to ever put on the jersey. And thank you all for watching my first vid on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, good day, good evening and good night. Good afternoon, good evening and good night.